everyone and welcome to another Let's Fail with me, Nan Reimer from Rank Gaming. The game that I'll be failing for you today is actually a controversial little game called Seduce Me, an erotic card game from a tiny little studio of two people uh, called No Reply Games. Most people probably have never heard of No Reply Games since they're pretty new, pretty little, but you probably have heard of the studio that uh, Miriam Bellard and Andres Skuja, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, came from Guerrilla Games. It's also the studio that gave us the Killzone series. So, uh, needless to say, Seduce Me is quite the departure from, from that. Now, I'm not sure if there's a storyline that I'm missing somewhere, maybe it's on a different site, maybe it's hidden, but basically you play the role of, I'm assuming is a decently handsome guy, who gets invited to a slutty socialite's vacation home. And uh, uh, apparently you are there to entertain, if you know what I'm saying. So it looks like the basic controls for this game, you're gonna pretty much do one-handed. Ha ha ha! Yes, there will be so many terrible jokes that are coming out of this. Uh, I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. I'm feeling slightly skeevy um, playing this game, but th this is for art, right? <laughs> so yes, I am getting Steam messaged quite a lot. Hopefully um, that won't happen later, but I have a lot of curious people who want to know how is the sex and seduce me? And I promise I will get to that very, very shortly. But first, I kind of want to show you um, some of the gameplay. Because you will be doing a whole lot more of this than you will getting laid. So in this particular situation, we've just entered the, the house. And we meet uh, Lilia on the left here and Tony, both pretty uptight chicks. Uh, it looks like you can only play Lilia. I honestly don't know if you can unlock any other of the sub-characters to bang, but I will tell you that yes, you can bang Lilia. Yeah, because she was my first target. <laughs> Actually, I ended up banging her mom first, but you know what? This is starting to sound incredibly skeevy, so let's talk about the gameplay. Well, each of the card games, and there's five in total, have different objectives. Uh, by clicking on the on the top right corner of the screen, the eye there, it will display everything you need to know about winning. The one I just played was a lot like hearts, and actually this one is also hearts where there's trump cards, and uh, you also want to play your high cards to, to win as many rounds as possible, or as many rounds as the game requires you to win. Uh, for example, this one. If I win more than uh, five hands, I actually will fail. So you, you need to make sure that you don't win too much either. You also see that winning too much is a big part of this game. If you can't just go out and take the lead in any game and score like a hundred points, you actually need to match your points to your opponents most of the time. You don't want to take too much of a lead and you don't want to lose by too much. And you'll also notice as you're wandering through the house here, and this this game, just just real quick, is a lot like Gin Rummy. Um, so brush up on, on all those card games that you play with your parents, <laughs> or at camp. You'll be playing them quite a bit. So, as you can see right now, I have a negative one, a giant negative one in white. That That's my popularity score. Uh, I think the max is 14 points and the lowest you can get is obviously zero. At zero, you actually get kicked out of the house. A screen will pop up and say, no one likes you, and they will kick you out, or they will attempt to. The first time you get, you hit zero, you will get a second chance. However, the second time, yeah, they're kicking you out. No more banging for you. The popularity is just one of the three attributes that you need to track in, in Seduce Me. Uh, first and foremost, popularity allows you to keep playing games. The higher points you have, the higher popularity, the more chances you get at playing a game. You know, obviously, once you dip, like I said, once you dip to zero, you get tossed out. So you want to keep your popularity as high as possible so you can challenge the most games. 
As for the other two attributes that you need to check up on, each girl has a pink attraction score that's attraction towards you and also a blue intimacy score that you need to work on. Girls that have a higher pink attraction score to you are more willing to, I guess, do dirty things with you. And girls with a higher intimacy score are more willing to share certain secrets. Some secrets are, you know, are pretty tame, while others have to do with um, their fantasies and some situations, let's say, that they've been involved in in the past. Now, every girl has a certain set of secrets and, you know, things that they're willing to do with you based on these two scores. So, obviously, you want to get, you want to max out your scores with all the girls if you want to see everything. But you also want to make sure that your score for one girl, the one girl that you want to, I guess, finish with, or win the game with, has the highest scores. Otherwise, you could possibly end up with the one you don't want. Which, by the way, is how I ended up with Lilia's mom and not Lilia. And once again, that sounds incredibly creepy, but, you know, we are playing a erotic card game, so what did you expect? And by the way, while you can definitely get with all the chicks, um, some of them do react differently to certain situations. So if one of the girls is actually very attracted to you or has a certain intimacy level with you, they will confront you, which is another mini game, and I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be able to show you that today. But basically, if you lose the confrontation, you will lose a whole lot of popularity, sometimes even seven points, which can possibly get you kicked out of the house. You know, they'll say they're very jealous, um, or maybe depending on who you're going out with or who you're going after, another girl will show up and say, you know, I really don't like her because she's such a prude. Or maybe a couple of the guys in the game, and there actually are a couple guys I don't know as well if you can unlock them, although that would be kind of funny. Um, some of them will approach you and say that they want you out of the house because you're getting too much attention from the girls or because one of them is jealous of your relationship with another woman. So basically, at the end of the day, your goal in, or how to win the game, is that you pretty much maximize both your intimacy and your attraction to one girl, and then you play one final card game with her, and you get to see her ending cutscene. Now, I've only seen two of the two of the four, and neither of them is particularly, I guess, like a good ending. I mean, there, there's all sorts of messed up with with the girls here. I mean, they're willing to have casual sex, like, left and right, so, yeah. A lot of daddy issues and a lot of uh, self-esteem, I'd, I'd wager. And I suppose since you stuck it out to me to about half of the 15 minutes that I normally do my let's fails, I should go ahead and tell you about how the sex works in this game. If you are coming in to seduce me looking to fap, I would suggest that you return to the internet because you will find a whole lot more hardcore and a whole lot more easily accessible fap scenes. Well, depending on the girl that you choose to pursue, um, there's a lot of intermediate, I guess, sex scenes um, in between. You you just can't, you know, like fast forward to them. Like I know you guys do, and you girls do. You're not I mean, you're not gonna sit around and watch some terrible storyline, which we know doesn't really exist to begin with. Um, you're gonna fast forward straight to the money shot. Well, you can't do that in Seduce Me, you actually have to sit around and play the games. And also, if you're expecting something along the lines of the Blue Girl or Skinamax, I'd say... I, I'd say Seduce Me's level of uh, adult content is definitely above Skinamax, where you hardly see anything at all, even though you, you know, you think you might, you know, you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, don't even lie. Um, but nowhere near uh, the hentai of the blue girl or uh, Urotsuki Doji. There are no tentacles, 
There's no like pubic hair that turns into needles and attacks your enemies. Nothing like that. There's um, dildos and dicks and lots of other stuff, but nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. Now, all the sex scenes in Seduce Me are done in the same art style as, as you see in front of you, and in all honesty, I really like it. I, I think the art has been drawn very nicely. I wish there was more of it, though, because I did find myself running into the same, uh, I guess, spontaneous scenes with the same animations over and over again. So that, that does get a little tiring as you're playing through. I wish they had included a bit more of that. As for the sex cutscenes, they're not really, you know, sex cutscenes. They're a, a bigger image that every so often gets a close-up on, on certain angles. So you can see the, the naughty bits um, a lot better. And as you can see, we're already about 11 minutes in, and I'm playing this real time. Uh, and we still haven't really seen any action. So once again, like I said, if you're expecting fast action, then you ought to look somewhere else because you're not going to get it here. <laughs> I mean, they, they really make you work. And the thing with the card games is sometimes, even though you're a great player, if you get shitty cards, you're not going to win. The game likes to, to kind of be a, a cock block to your vapage, I guess. That being said, though, if you take the sex away from Seduce Me, the card games are pretty fun, but they're also the same kind of card games that you can get on Yahoo Games, or you play with your grandma on Sunday. So, whoa, okay, yeah, so that gave me a really bad image right now. Uh, yeah, so let's, 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 let's move on. So here I'm, uh, playing... I guess a game of gin rummy here with Pietra, who's the main character, the, the skinky socialite that invites you to her home. Just uh, won a couple intimacy points, and if you look real quick, you can see, although I can't select them yet, you can see the different choices that you have and the scores of attraction and intimacy that you need to unlock them. And this is the same for all the girls. For the most part of the game, you're gonna just kind of walk around the house and look around click on the, the different mumblings and mutterings, different the chatterings that you'll see here and there, and do your best to improve your popularity and also your attributes with the girls in the game. Now I do need to give props to No Reply Games for trying at least to add a semblance of a story to seduce me. It's not always the best story, but it's not like, you know, that one porn where like the cop stops that chick in the car and then he's like where's the fire ma'am and she says in your pants officer it's nothing like that and there's no um music either basically what you're hearing in the game is the only music that you will hear it's a really good attempt at i think bringing i guess eroticism and an adults only game to the market but I also think that if you're looking for cheap thrills, this doesn't necessarily have them. It definitely has sex, but it doesn't have just that instant gratification that I know a lot of people are looking for in games like this. I suppose if I had to make a terrible comparison, which I'm all about, this this is the playboy of sex games. Definitely not a penthouse or hustler. Not that I subscribe to those magazines or anything, but just going by what I've kind of seen here and there, that that's my impression at least. And uh, I know our 15 minutes is coming up soon, so insert another quarter. Just kidding, because it's a sex game, making lots of sex jokes that are lame. But anyhow, I'm going to see if I can get, show you, well, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a little action from Lily at least, because I know she likes me. And once again, Jin Remy. Guess the game of choice. Let's see if I can beat her here. You can see right now my intimacy score. If I win right now, I'll get two points. And you always want to keep an eye on that. Um, and, and even sometimes let the girl win so that you gain max points. Or maybe you want to, you don't want any intimacy with her, then you also want to win by by leaps and bounds so that she stops liking you. Cool. 
And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I was trying to flirt with her at first, and she actually turned me down because I guess my stats weren't high enough or she wasn't attracted to me enough. And she said that she w would rather talk with me. So, welcome, welcome to dating. Ha ha ha. Alright, so it looks like I can invite her. I'm gonna just ask her to the beach because I'm, I know that I can't show you some of those scenes. And, and yet another card game to even have her accept the date. So, like I said, if you're looking to strictly use this as fep fodder, think again. And while we're playing this game, did you know there is actually a live-action adult uh, Le Blue Girl movie? Yes. Well, that's that's an experience in itself. And uh, once, <laughs> and also, definitely not fat fodder. It, it's kind of hilarious, actually. I also wanted to confess at this point, since we're still waiting for the stick to say yes or no, that. There are times that I got so frustrated with losing in this game that when I won, I did scream loud enough to have someone rush downstairs to see if everything was okay, only to be discovered cheering, cheering for a dating sex game. Oh wow. Well. Alright, so here we go. Here's our date! So here's a typical cutscene, and that's me, some nondescript, muscly dude. And yes, just imagine sex instead of laughter and frolicking on the beach. So there you have it. Those were the first, uh, I guess, few moments in Seduce Me. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope that you'll tune in next time as well for whatever game I choose to fail at. And if there's something specifically that you'd like to see me play, then don't be shy. Leave a comment. Um, on my YouTube channel, visit me at rankgaming.com, or feel free to tweet me at nanrymer. As always, thanks for watching and listening in, and I hope that you'll tune in next time as well. See ya!